From today, not only basic food products, but also fuel will be cheaper. The Polish government is not sitting on its hands. We are not burying our heads in the sand. Already before Christmas we reduced excise duty, we reduced VAT on many media, and after New Year's Eve, we promised that from the 1st of February we would reduce VAT on fuel, on petrol, from 23 to 8%. And as we promised, we did it. After the reduction of VAT on fuels, the average price of petrol per litre at petrol stations is 5 złoty 19 grosh, and of diesel oil, the average price is 5 złoty 24 grosh, he declared. These are the lowest prices in the European Union. As the Prime Minister said, inflation came to Poland together with Covid, Gazprom's price manipulations and the European Union's irresponsible climate policy. By saving jobs we paid for social security. We paid out of the budget for the so-called standstill. Gazprom and Russia, this is more than obvious. A several fold price increases, 500 to 600 percent, translating to prices of various products. And in the price of electricity, the third cause I have mentioned, at least half the price includes the cost of EU climate policy. Basic food products subject to 0 percent VAT include meat and fish products made from them, dairy products, vegetables and fruit and products made from them, cereals, products of the milling industry, cereal preparations and bakery products, certain beverages, for example those containing at least 20% fruit or vegetable juice, milk drinks and so-called plant milks. According to experts, food prices are one of the elements that influence inflation. The decision to reduce VAT from 5% to 0% was taken by the government without the final approval of the European Commission. Reduced VAT on fuel and food will be enforced for six months and on electricity for the next four months. The anti-inflation shield 2.0 also includes VAT cuts on fertilizers. The government is awaiting a response from the European Commission on their acceptability and the subsidies.